miracles that we have in Hanukkah, we're reminded constantly that the Jewish people have had many, many miracles throughout the generations. Back in the 1700s, George Washington was leading an army to make America an independent, and they went to war. And at some point, I believe this is 1777, is when this event took place. It's a real story. You could uh, look at it, and uh, it was written by uh, Aaron Levy, I believe in Aish. Aish.com. Uh, I saw the Hebrew version, I'm not sure where the English version is, but nonetheless, it's a true story. It's in several other places, also Rav Amnon Yitzchak has it on his website, and several other places have this, it's a true story. At some point, George Washington felt like he was losing the battle. And uh, he went from camp to camp trying to figure out what he was going to do, it was at night. And all of a sudden, he sees one of the camp has a light on. And he goes inside, and he asks the guy, what is that? And the guy says, oh, it's a Chanukiah. It's a Chanukiah. He goes, what's a Chanukiah? He says, oh, I'm a Jew, I'm a Jew. And uh, Hashem made miracles for us. He goes, oh, you're one of the chosen people. He goes, yeah. This is why I fulfill this mitzvah. Because, okay, so you are the nation of the chosen. You are the nation of the prophets. So why don't you tell me, what do you think of this war? Are we going to win this war? And the Jew says to him, you know, the reason why my nation survived all these years is because we had confidence in Hashem. And having connection to Hashem gave us confidence that anything is possible. It didn't matter that they were bigger, they were stronger, they were smarter, they were this, they were that. It didn't make a difference. When we had a Shem on our side, we knew everything was going to be okay. And that's why in the Chag, in the Chag of, of uh, Hanukkah, if you actually read the Gemara about it, Masechet Gitin, and I believe in a few other places in Midrashim, the war between Matityahu and the Yevanim, the Greeks, the Rishayim Greeks, it doesn't seem logical. It seems like a mamash, 100% suicide. The Gemara says, the Greeks had 600, and 600 million soldiers. Not 600 million people as a population, which would be almost double America. 600 million soldiers. Soldiers. China is considered a huge country and also a huge army. But they can dispose, you know, throw out a million soldiers at any given day. A million soldiers, already considered mega power. Greece had 600 million. Matityahu had a few sons. And a couple of other sons came and said, okay, let's join them. According to the math I did, maybe 10 people. They're not joking. Ten people. And let's just say, yeah, you know, that's some other people they didn't write about. Let's just say they had a thousand. Kav schut. Thousand? Six hundred million. If the six hundred million don't come with weapons. They don't come with weapons. They just spit. They drown the ten. They drown the thousand. They just spit. In their direction, they all drown. From saliva. But what do you have? Matityahu and his sons win the war. So this Jew tells a story to George Washington. And George Washington says, you think you're going to win? He says, I think we're going to win. I know we're going to win. And this gave George Washington a lot of chizuk. He got his strength back. He got his motivation back. He motivated all the soldiers that turned around the battles, and eventually they won the war. Years later, the Jew went back to his life. One day, in the middle of the night, somebody knocks on his door. They open the door. President George Washington is here to see you. The president's coming to see me. He comes to him and he gives him a medallion. He says, ah, that's the Hanukkiah. He came at the same time, came at Hanukkah. 
That's the Chanukiah, so I remember. We won the war because of this Chanukiah. And he gives him a present, and he gives him a medallion. On the back of the medallion is a Chanukiah. And the other part is the uh, name and so on. Now, how many times have any of you guys heard this story in school? Zero. 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 Foundation of this country we live in, there's a Jew behind it. There's also a Jew of several other Jews behind it that lend money to the country. I've said it in other shiurim. But nobody talks about this. Why doesn't anybody talk about this? No. Not politically correct. Different reason. The answer is at the beginning of the book of Exodus. The beginning of the book of Exodus, which we'll read in a few weeks, Bezot Hashem, says, Vayakam melech chadash al Mitzrayim, asher lo yadayet Yosef. A new king arose over Egypt who did not know Joseph. Vayomer el amo, ine am bnei Yisrael rav ve'atsu mimenu, ava nitchak malo, pen irbe ve'aya tikrena milchama. And this new king says, Behold, the people, the children of Israel, are more numerous and stronger than we. Come, let us outsmart it, lest it become numerous. And it may be that if a war will occur, too, it too may join our enemies. So first it says, Paro forgot who Joseph is. How'd you forget? Why, a memory lapse? How'd you forget? Let's think about this. When Joseph came there, you were like, you know, Manhattan. By the time this guy became king, by the time the slavery started, it became the United States. You started as a neighborhood, now all of a sudden you're a world power controlling the entire world. Every country in the world is paying taxes to Egypt. Thanks to who? Yosef HaTzadik. Not only that, after he dies, all of the Egyptians turn him into a god. They don't want to let his, his uh, body leave the country. They hide it in a tomb, put it in the Nile River. And they pray to the Nile River, they're praying to him. They turn him into a god. How'd you forget? What? The millions of Egyptians praying to him every single day. Like he's a god. What, they didn't tell you? You weren't one of them last week? What, the money that you have, the billions and billions of dollars you're getting in, in income every single day from all the countries? In the world, you forgot? You forgot whose face is on the dollar bill? His face is on the, on the Egyptian bill. How'd you forget? Ah, it says, even if it's a new king, some say it's the same king. It doesn't make a difference. His face is on the money. It says it's convenience. We became powerful. We don't need you anymore. You served your purpose, we don't need you anymore. You helped us get America, you financed the war, which is another Jew that financed the war, by the way. Another Jew financed the war. A Jew helped the war, many Jews fought in the war. All these wonderful things, but no, we're going to vote against you at the United Nations. Let's fool them. Fool them into thinking we're friends. So my dear friends, we have freedom in America, but it's only temporary. Our real freedom is dependent on what we do in order to satisfy Avinu Sheba Shemaim, our Father in Heaven. To buy off, the bottom line is, is that uh, these two companies have a huge opportunity. There are only two companies in an entire sector. My story doesn't start with religion. My story doesn't start with the truth. My story starts with Alma de Shikra, the world of lies. God gave, God took, may his name be blessed.